Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. So we figured out how to solve all these sine and cosine values on the unit circle from the last few videos. Let's start by taking all the sine values. If we were to plot all of these on a graph, it would look like this. You'll see the sine graph is a curve that keeps going up and down all the way to positive and negative infinity. And since it does go to positive and negative infinity, it makes all sine functions have a domain of all real numbers. Now if there are no transformations on a sine graph, it will typically go on the y-axis from 1 to negative 1. This means the range of any sine sine graph would be whatever the minimum to maximum is put into brackets. Now let's graph cosine and all of its values. You see that the graph looks practically the same to the sine graph. That is because it basically is. The cosine graph is a sine graph with a horizontal translation of minus pi over 2. So that means that all the rules of a sine graph apply to a cosine graph. The domain is all real numbers and the range is minimum to maximum in brackets. The period of a sine and cosine graph would be 2 pi. And to write out the basic sine and cosine equation, you would say something like f of theta is equal to sine of theta, or f of theta is equal to cosine of theta. Theta in this case would just be an angle measure, so it would function the same as something like, say, x or z. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. I will see you in the next one.